Hey folks, it's Ben Jungberg again, and this time it's about what to play on the A minor chord. That could be something like part two of my lesson, Scale Madness. And I have to disappoint you somehow because there is no such thing like a scale that you can just play, learn in five positions and play it then on the A minor chord and that will make you sound authentic. But there is an approach how you can get there and play authentic in style. Let's say you want to improvise on an A minor six chord, which is typical a typical gypsy swing sound like beginning from minor swing for example the whole tune like has only three chords Basically, it's only A minor, D minor, and E7. Of course, there are different variations of voicings. You can find them those in my video, proper chords to minor swing or chord variations to minor swing. But what you play in the solo guitar is, first of all, in first place, learn the triad. I will do it in the fifth position now. And you're learning like A, C, E, A, C, E, A, C, like this. And learning how to sing along the note names to remember where they are and what they sound like, you know, play the chord like the A minor chord, or let's say A minor triad. I play the thumb in the bass, but it's actually that bar chord thing. So you got the root here, the root and the third, and the root. So A C A C E D, A. That's the octave, like C E D. So this is very important. Now what you do is you use the chromatic approach. This is very easy. Only thing you have to do is like, before you play any note, you play the chromatic note right before that note. Like. And you will have an authentic gypsy sound. You can already with this technique, you can play a very good solo, good solo ideas. Focus on the triad and do like. sounds good next thing you do is bring in all the important notes that you can find in the gypsy chord voicings and that make the music sound like authentic the most important one here is the natural six F sharp so you're playing the triad again and add F sharp and figure out where it is on the fretboard and so you gain this really good overview like A C E F sharp it's like these intro from uh, all, um, Autumn Leaves of Miles Davis, you know, but this, this sound is very typical for old school jazz music. Like F, uh, A, C, E, F sharp, A, C, E, F sharp. Next note you want to add is probably the G sharp, which is the major seven. dark note and if you choose both of these notes and then add all the others you can if you will you will end up in using a melodic minor scale but the difference is when you lose use all the notes of the melodic minor scale you end up learning the fingering and not really checking out the different sounds because that's what gives this first learning the arpeggio and then adding the notes this is the way to do it so like that was the major seven then of course you do the nine the nine is a very a very important option note, like having it like here or at nine, you know. So you play like A, B, C, E, A, B, C, E, A, B, C. And again, learning all those notes really with a note name so that you really know the sound and where to find it. So now the next thing would be a note that's not very typical for Gypsy Jazz, and this is the seventh the uh, the seventh that's a whole tone um beneath the the root and this note is really not gypsy jazz so you use it with care but it would be like this is a minus seven arpeggio. anyway
way it can be used and it's used maybe a lot when you have a 2-5 like A minor D7 resolving to G but as soon as you got the A minor in a tonic or subtonic position this is an avoid note it doesn't sound really authentic other notes to use are of course the blue note which is the you know flat 5 like and really again like A C E flat E or you can use this like you can name it D sharp or E flat D sharp is maybe better because you already got the E like here like A C D sharp E A C D sharp E A C D sharp I don't get that you know and this is how you build up the scale and also make up lines later you know of course you got three scales and it's it makes sense to also practice the scales but if you practice scales again also sing along the note names because this is really important thing you gotta know what is a uh, you know flat six wow it's this batman thing <laughs> resolving to the fifth you know you need to know how your sounds sound before you play them only then you're able to make up really sensible and poetic improvisation so this is very important try to do that as often as you can the scales of course there are three minor scales that we play and I also recommend only thinking in these three minor scales don't think in modes because jazz at least jazz of that time is not really modal music. Most of the music we know is functional harmonic music and based on a tonic center that's, you know, enriched with secondary dominance, dim chords, certain flavors, but it's never, you know, the modal view is really like a modern view. So the three scales you need is the Aeolian minor scale with like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and then you learn it all over the fretboard not only that position there's five positions like the number of notes you have that's the numbers of positions you have for a scale arpeggio and etc so the next one would be the harmonic minor scale replacing the G through a G sharp and giving it that Spanish sound like you know from the 7 to the A and this one should also be learned with the note names like A B C so you're getting through 30th then like D E F and then you got the G sharp and the last one would be melodic minor with A, B, C, D, E, and then going to the natural sixth F sharp, G sharp, the big seven, and the major seven, and A. And this is the way you learn the scales. So if you make licks, Focus on the triad, like the A minor triad, and use all those stuff. For example, use the natural six with a banding. Stuff like that. Or using chromatic ideas here like A, G sharp, A, C, B, C, then the banding, like that. Use the nine, like going like from the C chromatically to the A or, sorry to, to the G sharp which is the major 7 and then to the 9 stuff like that always thinking in terms of these chords and exactly knowing which chords to use want to bend the 3rd And this is how you start making up your lines and really understanding what to play. And all these typical gypsy jazz licks that you know, like they are all used with that principle, you know. It's all about the triad and how to enrich it with the typical notes. This is how you make finally music with the chords. And the scales should be learned, of course, with the note names, but it's not that you can pick a scale and somehow, you know, make music with that scale. That's not really happening in functional harmonic music, music that's based on tonic. I hope that helped you and subscribe to my channel if yes. There's lots of very good material. You can also book private lessons with me face to face and um, see you soon. Bye.